Over the past 12 months, I've been able to take a look and review a plethora of phones. So with this information, hey guys, this is Ryan Thomas, and with Fail Tech here, and this is my video of the best phones for Christmas of 2016. I am looking at mostly eBay prices for a lot of these devices because they are much better value. Also, all of the phones featured in this video, I have made individual videos, reviews, and comparisons on my channel, so check those out if you're interested. Let's jump straight into the video then. So for the sub £150 mark, uh, here you can get a legendary G3 from LG. That's, it was revolutionary at the time for having its 5.5 inch QHD screen, a 13 megapixel camera that can shoot great stills as well as optically image stabilised UHD video. This is a great option for those who might love high res screens and could benefit from that micro SD expansion up to 256 gigabytes hot damn. You could also get a second generation Moto X for this price, which was in my top three favourite phones to test out this year. It features similar performance specs to the G3, but with a 5.2 inch 1080p AMOLED screen and a drop dead gorgeous design IMO. This is one of the best feeling phones in the hand I've ever used. Now whilst both of these phones are great, they don't come with fingerprint scanners. This is where the third option comes in. It's the iPhone 5S. These are much harder to find at this price in good condition, but it's still very possible and has been done. These phones offer a much smaller footprint and of course the iOS experience. You're getting a solid build quality and camera too, and more importantly, you're getting that fingerprint scanner. The next three options are between £150 and £350. For this price, you can buy a OnePlus 3, which as you guys may know, is the most successful phone in terms of viewership on my channel to date, accounting for a quarter of my total views. And this phone is just as incredible as that figure is. With the fingerprint scanner that tops pretty much everything in its class, and a stellar 5.5 inch 1080p, AMOLED screen and a blisteringly fast performance specification. This phone would be double the price if it had a Samsung or Apple logo on it. Next up is the legendary Nexus 6. This thing is also in my top three phones of this year with a brilliant six inch QHD AMOLED display that's gorgeous. Stereo front firing speakers, great battery life and a fantastic build quality. This phone would be for the larger phone lover of course. And finally we have another Nexus, it's the Nexus 6P. This is one of the most premium feeling phones in the hand that money can buy and with a full aluminium build, fantastic 5.7 inch QHD AMOLED display and stereo front firing speakers and a gorgeous camera, this is a fantastic option for you Android lovers. And finally, for you ballers, for you ballers who want to spend more than £350 on your phone, this goes up to infinity money. There are only really going to be three options here for me. First up is the iPhone 7. This is my favourite iPhone to date with performance specs that make other manufacturers poop themselves, a camera to die for, and a superb build quality. I'd take one of these in the matte black option, thanks. <laughs> Next up is the Pixel from Google. This is a stupidly fast phone with the latest performance specs, stock Android, the best camera in the game, and a 5 inch 1080p AMOLED panel. A superb phone for the Android lover then. And finally, we have my favourite phone of 2016. This is the third of the top three. In the top spot, we have the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. This is my daily driver and has been for a little while. Even testing out the Pixel on the iPhone 7 and all these other phones, it's still my favourite. It's amazing and it has those curved edges, the fantastic 5.5 inch QHD Super AMOLED display and superb camera. Honorable mentions go to the HTC One M8 for those legendary boom sound speakers, the Elephone P9000 which is one of if not the best budget phones, as well as the iPhone 6S Plus which was my daily driver for a number of months in pink, I, I, I mean rose gold. <laughs> And that's my selection, 12 phones that have genuinely impressed me this year. And don't forget that there are individual reviews and comparisons of all of these devices on my channel, so check those out if you haven't already. Leave a like if you enjoyed and dislike if you didn't. And please subscribe if you're new to never miss a video like this one. Thanks for watching guys, have a fantastic weekend and I'll catch you on Monday. Peace.